Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and today we're visiting with Whitney Peck. And Whitney, I know you did a lot of research with hay last summer mm -hmm. at the research station. Yeah, I did. So I got the opportunity to do a test on hay moisture testers. So there was three different ones in the um, trial and then each one of them I got to test on different bills um, and see which one more accurately did moisture and temperature. And that's important for Kentucky mm -hmm. farmers because a lot of hay has been put up. We've made it in those <laughs> windows, right. right? And so we have a lot of round bells sitting right. out there. Why should farmers be concerned about the moisture? Right, so the moisture can cause uh, barn fires. So that's our biggest problem that we see in Kentucky is they'll put it in there um, when it's the moisture is too high um, and then it can cause a fire. So when you're using your moisture tester, which the one we have at the extension office is an agritonics, um, you want to stick it in the side of the bale and then hold the little moisture button and that'll give you an accurate reading. So we want to keep that number under 20 for our moisture content. Really 15 to 16 is where we want to be, but anything under 20 is good to put in the barn. And a lot of times in Kentucky, that's where we want to be, but it's hard because it rains, it might have rained on the right. hay, um, but we had to get it up. And mm -hmm. so, but that's why it's so important to know what that moisture is. There's other ways to test moisture, but this is probably one of the most accurate. Right, so there's definitely other ways. So the way that I grew up using is, you know, you'd stick your hand in there and you'd break it. Um, and if it broke easy, then it was good to put in the barn. But the moisture tester just gives us a little bit more of an accuracy because that's a whole barn that we're putting, plus a load of hay that we're also couldn't go up in flames, right. literally. Right. And so, and we certainly don't want to do that. And of course, storing the hay in the barn mm -hmm. is the ideal mm -hmm. um, situation because we do see some loss if we store it outside. Right. So weathered hay beca can become discolored, less nutritious, um, and less valuable if you just leave it out there. So that's why we'd rather put it in a barn or maybe on a, a pad of rock or something um, so we can stop that moisture from seeking into the bales. Absolutely, because we've spent all this time and all this money right. into producing hay, and hay is actually one of the most costly parts mm -hmm. of our operation. I mean, as long as we can graze them on grass, that's better, but right. we have to have some hay to get us through the winter in Kentucky. And so we're putting all this investment in. We want to make sure that we're getting the most out of it. And so we can lose up to a third of that bale if we leave it outside mm -hmm. and in the weather. And so like you were talking about, on, on a rock pad, maybe covered with a tarp, mm -hmm. we can save a whole lot more. It's not going to be as good as the barn, but it's still going right. to be better than just leaving it in the field right side. That also goes into testing it for temperature too. So mm -hmm. our agrotonics can also test it for temperature, not just moisture. And we want to keep it to like 130 for normal because that'll also give us another, okay, this is okay to put in the barn or okay, this is okay to store. Um, so we're not taking those risk uh, with putting it and losing it um, to different other things in the world. And you know, we want to get it out of the field. Mm -hmm. And I know farmers don't like it in the field, but if it's too wet or mm -hmm. too high temperature or moisture to put in the barn, mm -hmm. we just recommend them stack it outside for right. a little while and continue to check it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so it's always good to continue to check it. You can do it every other day or every day if you'd like, um, just to make sure that you're okay to put it in the barn um, or if something happens. I know that some people may test in the morning, but it's gonna be different with all, you know, throughout the day, the moisture and stuff, throughout the night too. So you can test in the morning or you can taste it later in the day um, to see if it's good to put in your barn. And you know, I have farmers tell me, well, Joanna, <laughs> you know, it's just gonna get rained on if I leave it outside right. and it's gonna get higher in mm -hmm. moisture. But a lot of times that heat mm -hmm. comes from the inside yeah. of that bale out. And so, yeah, you might get some rain on top, mm -hmm. but that might not um, be, like it might not affect the entire bale like it does if you rolled it wet. Right. And so we have this available at the extension mm -hmm. office that farmers can check out for free. And there's several other extension offices that have one. So mm -hmm. if farmers just wanna call, they can check this out. Yep, yeah. so all they have to do is call our office um, and then they can check it out. And just like I said, make sure you do the side of the bill and hold that button. If you don't hold that button, it'll go to either the lowest that it can be or the highest it can be. So it's got this system that automatically either goes to low or high. So make sure that you're holding that button and it takes one to two minutes for it to settle. Um, and then you'll get an accurate reading of temperature or moisture. All right, and then we have a publication about round mm -hmm. bell hay storage, about moisture, if people want to know mm -hmm. more information. Yeah. All right, and then we have a whole host of videos on Kentucky forages that you can check out and learn everything you need to know about forages in Kentucky. We have a hay tester for the moisture and the temperature. We also have a windrow moisture tester, which 
I know it's not as accurate, mm -hmm. but if you're kind of determining whether you want to bail it or not, it's a good giving you a range of that. And then we also have a hay tester. Mm -hmm. If once you get it bailed, you want to get the hay tested to see what nutrients are there, we have one of those available for you to check out. All you need is a drill. Thanks for watching and have a great day.